Hello everyone. This study is based on 12th standard political science. Class size is approximately 40 learners. Due to COVID-19 situations, during this session a blended mode of teaching was carried out by me. For a few days online classes and other days I did in person teaching. So this study has been conducted in a diverse environment amidst the pandemic. My research questions are how to accommodate the self-learning style of the learners. What content should I give to the learners and how the process of learning and assessment should go in the class was also a big question. We all have a way in which we best learn. Odes are everywhere. Learners in the class have a different preferred learning style, which can make it difficult for teachers to be the most effective teacher. However, by trying to incorporate various methods into teaching, one may be able to reach the majority of the learners. The three learning styles and ways in which teachers can accommodate them are visual, auditory, and tactile learning. So I try to accommodate them into my teaching. My first question was how to accommodate the self-learning style of my learners. And the second what content should I give to the learners? They were also used to learning via memorization methods. They used to ask me that I must give them only important questions for exams and they will diligently learn them and will score good marks. But I think memorization is the only first step in Bloom's taxonomy. I want my learners to learn beyond this step, which means they should be familiar with the understanding of concepts and their application too, for which I needed a variety of learning material or content on each topic so that every learner can study from the material with which he or she is comfortable. So the content was offered to them in digital as well as print modes like my own videos, Google classes, notes, assignments in soft form and support material NCRT textbook in hard copy. All the digital content was available on YouTube and SlideShare also. When the links of digital content were shared with the learners on the class WhatsApp group, a few learners made me aware that they are not able to understand the content from the videos. So, after discussion with them, I found a way to take online Google classes to clear their doubt. My third question was how does the process of learning and assessment go in the class? For which I also made changes in person classroom interaction which included discussion with peers in group, presentation of the content by the students in front of peers. 
more emphasis on concept learning and event learning in the story form with timeline use of mind maps flow chart in the long questions learning with the help of maps for long term retention of the content and with low resources of digital learning i played my own videos on my own phone or tablet connected to bluetooth speakers in the classroom from youtube channel and news on current topics just to create interest in the students in the content during the action research i also used tools such as google survey random survey to find out the preferred learning style of my learners regular assessments were used to measure the performance of the students from time to time class teacher and subject teachers were consulted at various occasions to explore the reasons for low performance of three learners now when i go to the class my learners eagerly wait for what new activity i am going to offer them which gives me motivation to search for new ways of teaching thank you very much for listening